If you're a music artist and you need music visualizations, most of the time you have to use Windows. And if you're on Windows, you have to pay for After Effects, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make music visualizations with a free program called Kden Live, and this works on both Linux and Windows. Okay, so to start off the tutorial, you cannot use the latest version of Kden Live that came out pretty recently, actually. So you can't use 19.04.0 because this made it so you can no longer drag audio clips into a video track, which means this tutorial will not work on the latest version of Kden Live. Luckily, I have actually uh, put a link into the description on an older version of Kden Live, so it is an app, Linux, app image, so it should work on most Linux distros, and there's also a uh, EXE version if you're running Windows, so yeah. Alright, so I got the app image version of Kden Live right here. Now once it's open, you're going to want to click add clip, and you're going to add in your clip. Now we're going to want to drag and drop it to the timeline. Now, uh, make sure that you drag it onto a video track and not an audio track. We're going to use this later. Now, you're going to want to head over to Effects, and you're going to want to go into the search area and type uh, Waveform. So, now, you want to look for Audio Waveform Filter, not this right here, not Waveform right here, but Audio Waveform Filter, and you're going to want to drag and drop it to your audio file. Now, uh, f as you can see, if I start running the audio, I do have my volume disabled, but if you start running the audio, it will uh, show the visualization. Alright, so uh, you can customize the audio waveform filter a little bit. Now let's start with background color. Now background color is set to transparent by default, which means if I wanted to add in an image, like pizza.jpg, I can, and then I can... Uh, add a color to match with the background, but as you can see, the audio is showing up with this background. Here, I'll actually make it thicker so you can see the lines better. There we go. Uh, however, this kind of looks ugly. Now, if you want to change it, you can click on it and you can choose a color here. Now, you will want to set this alpha channel to 255, 255, so that it's fully untransparent and uh, fully able to see it and then you can choose a color so now we have a background color now if we want to change the foreground color you can once again click the foreground color and change it to something what would match good on orange dark blue and now the audio wave is blue now we can adjust the line thickness so for a brighter background if you're using white you're gonna want a thicker line you can set it as far up as 20 um, or as far down as zero, um, which you can barely see zero. So uh, yeah, now I'm gonna set it to five because I think five looks good. So uh, next uh, we're going to discuss these three options. Now uh, you can change the size. If you do 200, it will only show the bottom track and only a little bit of the bottom track. However, if you wanna uh, make it smaller, you could set it to 50. Not sure why you would want to set it to 50. Uh, but as you can see here, now uh, you can also change where this is by taking this cross thing and dragging it around. Uh, or you can uh, use these to align it. So if I want to put this in the center, I'd click this button. If I want to put this in the other center, center vertically, I can click this button. If I want to put it on the align it with the bottom I can click that button and yeah so I must set it back to 100 and align it back to the middle just because that's the way I want it so yeah now there's also the fill fil filter now uh, this kind of looks ugly by itself however if you set the thing to uh, 20 it does look a little more realistic than a little better when you set then when you set it to 1 as you can see here so, I don't know, it's just your per personal preferences. I just think it looks better when it's 
thicker with the fill option. Uh, I, actually, I think 5 is actually the best for this. I accidentally changed the color, but whatever, I can change it back. So anyways, that's how you use uh, Hayden Live to make music uh, visualizers. I hope this video helps somebody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.